Hi, I am Dr. Raj Shekhar Sijaka, Consultant Surgical Oncologist and Robotic Surgeon, Manipal Hospital, Whitefield. And now, coming to the treatment aspect, the cure of this cancer is only possible with a surgery. One is surgery, next is chemotherapy and third is targeted therapy. Now, surgery becomes the most important modality for a cure. Now, surgery, it can be open surgery or minimally invasive surgery. I always recommend in a cancer of ORI, minimally invasive surgery, what we say laparoscopic or robotic is most of the times not practiced, not advisable because of one thing, if it is benign or mucinous tumor, sometimes if it is ruptured and fluid spills out into the abdomen, it may spread all across the tummy, which is not at all a good thing to do. So majority of the times, ovarian tumors are dealt with a open surgery. So because the tumor should be removed intact without rupturing it. So what we call it as a cytoreductive surgery. The uterus, both the ovaries, pelvic lymph nodes, parietic lymph nodes, omentum, all these things will be removed according to the stage of the cancer and involvement of the components. Sometimes we remove the complete peritoneum, which is known as peritonectomy. And the target of surgery is to see that nothing is left in the abdomen, which is cancerous. Only then we have the best outcome. Now, coming to the chemotherapy, we have three types of chemotherapy in ovarian cancer, which is not there in many other cancers. One is as usual chemotherapy is given in the veins that is known as intravenous chemotherapy. But we have two special chemotherapies here. One is intraperitoneal and the third one is HIPEC, hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy. It is very interesting that these have evolved over a period of time and have given better result. When we do this intraperitoneal chemotherapy is after we do the surgery, we insert a port near the tummy where the catheter goes into the tummy and post surgery chemotherapy will also be given into the tummy itself. The HIPEC, watch what I was talking about, hyperthermic intraperitoneal chemotherapy is the most advanced form of chemotherapy where chemotherapy after surgery immediately is given into the tummy at an increased temperature of 41.5 degrees Celsius with a special machine. This is very advanced and has got the best survival rate and lowest recurrence rates provided patient is fit for this and we have removed complete tumor. So this treatment is done during the surgery itself in the operation theater once we complete the surgery. The other modality of chemotherapy is PIPEC, where if it is very advanced, we spray the chemotherapy drug into the tummy at an increased pressure to decrease the amount of tumor burden. Apart from this, as I was mentioning about the targeted therapy, this is done when we know that there are some targeted components or bevacizumab, we are want to target the vascular epithelium or we know that there are some mutations, we have a drug to block those mutations, then we use this targeted therapy along with the chemotherapy and sometimes immunotherapy. Now, it is very important that carcinoma ori patient also gets evaluated genetically because nowadays it has become very common that there is a genetic mutation and there are drugs which can act on these mutations. So that is why I urge if at all a carcinoma ori is diagnosed, there are some criteria to say when to do genetic test. And if at all we feel that there is little high risk, it is better always to do a genetic test and see if at all there are any genetic abnormalities. So if it is managed at an early stage and in a better way from a qualified oncosurgeon, definitely it is curable.